Hello everyone, I'm Stephen Beach, the Executive Director of the Wellesley Community Center, and with us today is a very special guest, Louise Holderlein from Wellesley High School. Louise is part of a unique group of students who specialize in computer and software development known as Digital Bridges. Louise, tell us a little bit about this organization and, and how did you come about and, and what is your, your charter, if you will? So Wellesley Digital Bridges is an organization that's designed to bridge the digital divide. Um, so, well, what is the digital divide, you may be asking yourself. Um, it's the fact that some communities don't have the same opportunities in terms of uh, learning resources for computers that other communities do. And in today's world, it's very important that every child learns these basic tools. Mm -hmm. At this point, there are very few things that you don't do over the internet anymore, anything from uh, Google search to buying things over Amazon to if you work at a company, the company has a website. Um, and learning how to write the programs of the future is integral. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you're trying to level the playing field is what you're saying? Yes. Okay. All right, I'm very trying good. to give them the opportunity to learn for themselves. And to this end, we will be uh, providing Chromebooks to a school called the Boston Green Academy. Mm -hmm. um, and these Chromebooks will be financed through a through the proceeds of a computer class that I will be teaching um, at the Wellesley Community Center. Can Learning. you give us some workaday examples of what software coding involves? How does it affect our lives in a in a routine fashion? Give us some some examples. Anything from Amazon Amazon.com where you can order uh, products to uh, your business has a website through which it attracts customers to when you want to know something you look it up on Google. Uh, you've unlimited resources at, at your command and um, how to write programs like this and programs like others mm -hmm. uh, is, is very important to the continued development of our world. Okay, I, so you could, you could actually make an analogy that Digital Bridges is a little bit like a tech version of Heifer International where you're giving livestock to a underserved demographic mm -hmm. to or in order to afford them some degree of sustainability and that's sort of what we're talking about here. Exactly, yes. So uh, how does this course work? When when does it begin? Uh, uh, how long does it take? What mm -hmm. what are the uh, subscription requirements? Mm -hmm. What do you do with the revenue? Mm -hmm. So uh, So what we're doing is we're offering a course and all proceeds from this course are going directly to the purchasing of Chromebooks for an underserved school um, in particular, the Boston Green Academy. Okay, very good. Now, my understanding is space is limited. Space is indeed limited. Yes. And we currently have seven students that are enrolled. So how many mm -hmm. seats do we have left? I mean, you, so you're the professor here, so. So we have um, three, so we have three uh, seats completely open. And beyond that, there's a wait list with the possibility that we are going to expand the class uh -huh. to include up to as many as 15 students. Okay, all right, so so we will see. And the first class begins on Friday, September 28th? Yes. Is that correct? Thank you, 29th, excuse me, September 29th. It's a five-week program and it ends on October 27th, also a Friday. Class begins at five o'clock and ends at 6.30 p.m at the Wellesley Community Center. So if someone wants to know more about this, where do we send them to get registration mm -hmm. information? So uh, registration information, you can either email me directly at lewis.hodaline at gmail.com, mm -hmm. or you can go to wellesleydigitalbridges.wordpress.com, okay. um, which is our website. So Luis, we know when the class begins, mm -hmm. how long it runs. We know that there is a subscription fee associated in those Mm -hmm. Proceeds will be assigned to the Boston Green School. Mm -hmm. What is the course going to involve? What are the students going to expect? And mm -hmm. what, are they, what are you going to be sharing with them? So as you mentioned, it, it is, yes, a five-week course. And we're going to be doing a, a basic introduction to computer programming. Uh, we will be using a language called Python. And in case you're interested, it's version 2.7. Um, version 2.7, OK. Yes, there, there, are, there are more recent versions, um, but this one, this one has certain quirks that make it, in my opinion, easier to understand. Okay. Um, it also, uh, the class will definitely be very hands-on. There will be many opportunities for the kids themselves to do a lot of kind of indep independent 
working on their own projects. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, throughout the class, I'll be introducing them to things like conditionals, um, functions, and uh, basic idea of how do you even think about writing a program. So these are modeling precepts that yes. go with the course. These are, these are the fundamentals okay. of computer programming. All right, very good. So five weeks of Python 2.7. And it sounds like it's going to be real hands-on. So mm -hmm. as they craft their projects, there'll be touchstones along the way. So at the end yes. of the five weeks, they'll, they will have themselves a finished product they can be proud of. Yes, that is my point. That is my goal. That is fantastic, Luis. This is the very first time we've ever done anything like this. This is truly creative thinking, and we are thrilled to have the opportunity to work with Luis and his group from Wellesley Digital Bridges. Thanks for watching. Thank you.